Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In previous video, we have seen how to create a site in SharePoint Online. We have created classic site. Now on this video, we'll see what is the hierarchy of creating folder, file and library in SharePoint Online. Prior to that, we'll see what are the limitations of SharePoint as well. So guys, before we proceed to the lab environment, let's see what is the limitations of SharePoint. Okay friends, so first let's understand the hierarchy of SharePoint. So first we create site on SharePoint online, which we have already created in my previous video. Then we create subsites. Subsites are not necessary, which means you may or may not create subsite based on your requirement. It's not mandatory to create subsite just after site. Then we create library, which we also called document library. We can create document library just after we create site then we create folder and after creating the folder we create file so friends this was a hierarchy of sharepoint online so friends now let's talk about limitations of sharepoint so in a subscription we can create 2 million sites and in a site we can create 2000 sub sites now in a sub site we can create unlimited of libraries now as far as folders and files are concerned we can create 30 million files of folder inside library maximum file size is allowed up to 250 gb and a site can be maximum of 25 tb and a minimum of 1 gb in size so friends this was a limitations and hierarchy of sharepoint which we have discussed now let's go to our lab environment and let's see how we can create sub sites library folder and files okay friends so now we are on our sharepoint admin center now we'll click on active sites and in previous video, we have created a site with the name of test. So to go to site, we'll click on this link. So now we are on our site test. Now as per the hierarchy, we can create a sub site inside our site. So let me show you how we can create sub site. So to create a site, we can click on site content in the left side, or we can click on this gear icon, then we can go to site content so we'll click on site content now we are inside site now to create sub site we can click on new and from here we can create sub site by clicking over here so you can give the name of the sub site you can give the name to your sub site over here for the url and then you can select the template you want a team site team site classic experience project site or community site so as per your requirement, you can create a sub site, but it's not a barrier to create document library after sub site creation. We can directly create document library after site. So we'll go back. Let's go to home on the site. Okay. So now we are back to our site. Now to create library, we can, we'll click on add list libraries and other apps. Now here we can create document library, custom list, and these are other apps which you can use. So as per the hierarchy, now we'll create document library. Now we can give the name to our document library. So I've given the name doc library. Now we'll click on create. So now inside our site, you can see I've created a document library. We'll click on our document library to go inside it. Now inside document library, we can create folder or we can directly create Word document, Excel workbook and so on. Now let's create folder inside our document library. We'll give it a name. Okay. So we have given the name to our folder doc folder. You can create as many as folder inside our document library. Now click on this document folder. And inside document folder, now you can create Word document, Excel, workbook, and so on. So we'll create a work document. Click on it. Now you can enter the text inside your file. Okay, so it is safe now. Let me close it. So you can see inside of a document folder, we have a file with the name of document. You can create as many as file inside this folder or you can create another folder inside your document folder. 
so let's go back to document library and you can see this is my folder you can create as many as folder inside your document library so friends that's how we create a document library and inside document library we can create a file and i have already discussed about the limitations of that so guys in our next upcoming video we will see what are the permissions levels so that conclude our video demonstration for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos i will see you guys in next video